I have a lot of biological scientists who have graduated years ago and had access to you. And they are waiting for you and they are looking at you guys. They are looking for all of us sitting here. Especially as we promote a private public partnership. You know the Eco Framework is already there. So you wear these guys, we feel they should come to you and give them the entire employment. Government cannot take them all. But do we have mechanism to ensure these boys enter into the labor market and then it's systematically and then they are safe where they are? Yesterday I was on one of the TVs. I told them, guys, I know you've graduated. Thank you very much. You've entered the books of the academicians. Unlike these PhD holders who are just permanently ahead, they are damaged their heads. Let's talk about this one. The world cannot consume you all. Don't look at government. Government will not employ you all. I think we have about less than a million. And every year we are getting 30,000, 30,000 from all these universities. Where shall we put you? They will have to come to you well for solution. But if you, you are a resistor of modernity, Now we're told this is TV. You resist, we shall uproot you. You are resisting. So, now, on this one, I call upon Ugandans, especially those with mandate and authority, delegated authority, like I told you, I was whispering about the delegated authority, which I'm supposed to. In from 10 a.m. to midday. So if you have such a delegated authority, please do the needful to address the concerns and the needs of Ugandans. How can you call a minister at the airport? You call me to do what? For example, in the case you see I have some people, I have some cousins, you know, the relatives are there. Some of them have, they run their business. I remember last year one of them called me. I think in March, not even last year. I think she was default, defaulting on those licenses. I just said, oh, they are closing your shop? Yes, give me that person. So I told that person, I was like, uh-huh, what is this? They said license. I said, okay, you know what? You're going to open it, but first, let me talk to her. Put me on loud. I was like, did you pay your license? No. Can you please pay the license and then the man is going to open that shop in the next one hour if you pay the license. So you people in those positions, do that. Those who know me, they know. You come to me with those contextual connotations of saying this is my sister, this is your hobby, like in the other one. Forget, I will not hold you. Follow. The rules must be followed to the dot. But how can a minister mingle into a travel issue because somebody is escaping my nurse, a yellow card fever, I mean a yellow fever card, and you want to call the HOFA to, to help you. Now, you know this week I'm holding so many portfolios, not there. <laughs> Instead, I will put you in. <coughs> so, Temuka and Mugamba, now HOFA is our friend, so we are going to call. Please go and do the needful. And I thank you. Why I thank you, Minister of Health, this one is solving the corruption problems, I told you. I shared this morning with somebody. Somebody got, I will not mention even the kidney and the, the, the person, but somebody got, moreover, a, a doctor from your ministry. Can you imagine Dr. Daniel? A old medical doctor went and faked a yellow fever card. They were turned at the airport. And the person called, imagine that doctor got the audacity to call again the clinic, the facility, we call what? The provider. Yes, the psychological service provider. Say that I got a card which is being rejected at the airport from your clinic. So the other service pro provider was coming enough to ask a simple question. Did you walk into that facility? 
Can I call him a fool or a clever man? <laughs> Both. He says, no. Then he says, okay, please. I'm not responsible. And they made him pay 40,000, I mean 40 dollars. I wish that made him to pay 100 dollars. <laughs> because this is a person who is enforcing the law, and at the same time, he wants the law to no, 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 he's bending. <laughs> so I thank you for this because it has now started paying fruits and realizing the fruits. Please, doctor, be careful of this one. We shall support you because it has already paid the fruit that moreover somebody from your ministry has been caught at the wrong side of the road. <laughs> what about from my counsel and ministry when you are Every time they are flying out of the country, what to do what? I don't know. So, let's forget about the complaints, as long as the complaints and also the counter accusations, the Baganda say, put his hammer in the work, and you know what I'm talking about. Put some bit of blockages in your ears, and do the right thing. You know, the externalization of labor has got an impact, Mr. Baker with our bilateral trade relations with those countries where they were. We don't want to lose the relations because of one element of the, the entire trade compendium or package. We don't want to lose the relations. So if your people, now we are looking at you and the Minister of China, if your people are becoming a problem, then can I put it from that particular country because we have other relations, diplomatic relations, then uh, exchanges in terms of uh, education, trade, agriculture, and others. So if a labor, a simple element, the Baganda say if one tooth is rotten, you remove it, extract it. But of course, doctor will not like, like us to do that. So to Dr. Daniel, yes, no, no, no. you will say we repair, we concern. <laughs> but for us, we do, for us, the other side, we just remove. <laughs> you remove the element and then the subversive element and you move forward. <laughs> so our task is simple. Honorable Pochini is to ensure we have digitalized or we put in place a mechanism to monitor and adherence to the vaccination requirement or mandate of yellow fever. That is your simple task. However, the implied tasks are different. How you do them, that's a different job. Put up punitive measures, move there. For us, we want to see the level at which Ugandans are now adhering, and then Dr. Tawun will actually become happy. Say the people have done work, have been vaccinated, and people have adhered. But the implied tasks are different. How you do them, that is OK. All we want is to see that the other task has been achieved. So please, Ugandans, I call upon you to avoid rushing with uh, the task implementers because they will have implied methods of ensuring that we get the task done. Such a Dr. Daniel. So I uh, appeal to all of you stakeholders to please do adhere and do your you all are aware about the, the money you bring into this country, Mr. Luwela, which I don't know. Is it over 200 billion Uganda shillings or million dollars? 7 million dollars. 7 million dollars. In what year? In one year. In one year. In one year. Mm. It is okay. But you know, I'm giving you the elements, I'm giving you the raw material, the inputs, so that I need more million. You get it. And the only way to have the additional million dollars to come into the country, which is actually very useful in terms of welfare and wealth creation among those whole states, is to adhere to the principles and the regulations, which uh, are here who is partial to. I've told you about the culture of opposing, which I feel like in Ugandans we must exist since everything is resisted, good and bad. But again, I want to, to ask the association
transition to beef farm. If your view, you recall what happened to the scratch cards of airtime, which were actually environmental and friendly. Everyone resisted. These people know on the other side of the coin, these ones, the Balindis, the one who are to take over power in 2018, perhaps they will be tired. They were up shouting, telling us as Ugandans even don't know how to use these, what are you, and so on and so forth. But tell me, three years down the road or five years down the road, are you still seeing any scratch card around? No. What happened? They went digital. So once we insist, we can achieve it. So in the middle of it, they should actually not be even bother, just insist. And desist from the pressures. If especially the I know all, when we move forward, we shall achieve what we want. And uh, just to share with you, at KCC, we are actually now promoting everything E, Eco Transport System. E permits, E small revenue collections, and so on and so forth. So when we come to your shop and they close it, they will tell you to go and pay. You get a coin, then you go and do it and pay. But I believe, I know some of you insisted and resisted, but we say, please, let's do it. Now I'm happy to tell you by November. KCC had collected over 100 billion, which was 90% again to target revenue collection and financial. Just in six months down the road, because of this. Because we are trying to cross the taps of linkages, delicacies, and now we can say at least. So I'm pretty sure next financial year, my target is to collect 300 billion. Because when I reached Rubaga, where is Rubaga man? They were only collecting 24. Moreover, with all those business businesses in Rubaga. So I said, okay, let's go back to the bush and plan for you. So once we do this, we will iron out corruption and other things. I'm happy to hear about the 300 companies. I, I just take census, I think they were with around 200. This for me, if each of these companies can take about uh, maximum how many points? One thousand, Mister Big. Uh, in a month, how many can you take out girls and boys? A hundred per month. A hundred per month, multiplied by three hundred. What is that? The Munda one. I can't be Minister Big and struggle so calculate. That's about thirty. The mathematics is now done, okay? Yeah. Watch the program of seven hour one guy. That's why it's trying to do what? To create jobs for you and you. So, as I conclude, because the rest have said and the rest shall say, just to know that your role, whatever you're doing, is part of the agreement. His Excellency, the President, wrote with you, God, and then you can say yes, we've agreed, we are giving you this contractual term of five years to continue of job and wealth creation. So my appeal to you is simple. Put up in place everything possible to ensure Ugandans transform economically. I know the health concerns, the others for me I'm concerned about the economic transformation of because once my pocket is smiling, I'll be able to ensure I meet all the health needs and other social needs in the country. Now in conclusion, I always say this word and everyone is like, as we secure our future. You know that is our thing? You know that? You know when you are a civil servant under any agency, with a private or, or government, you must, first of all, 
understand and put on your fingertips what the manifesto is all about. That is the agreement, and that is our Bible we must read for all these five years. And at the end of the day, we shall ask you. And don't think you are far away from us to say that it seems you, you are diverting a lot, and since you have a divergent element in your brains, maybe you just extend a bit away from this main so that we allow those with upright ideological orientation to come and do what and fulfill. Because it is you who must, uh, who must do what? Help us to ensure that we fulfill all the obligations we are supposed to fulfill. Wherever you are. Can Mr. Baker to hold up with the private sector and you bring water for We are together. We are together. <laughs> Thank you very much. So as we secure and as we help people to secure their future, you technical persons from the Ministry of Health, from gender, from the private sector, just know you are the vehicle to the desired future. You must help these people move to where the desired future is. And the desired future is simple, social economic transformation. In its totality, including and other things. So the digitalization of the yellow books is one of the ways we can eradicate one yellow fever in the country that is now enhancing social economic transformation and also enhance labor creation that is uh, through labor externalization. So I thank you, Honorable Nachi Engi, for this initiative all of you who have worked hand in hand to ensure that uh, we realize this dream and also we migrate from the analog to the digital life. And uh, as KCCA, I'm going to pledge one thing because I've, I've made to, uh, to understand yeah, we, are, we don't have the yellow fever card. Do you call them books? Yes. So I'm going to take it this upon myself to ask the head of public uh, health in KCCA why I don't have this. And in number of years, I'm an action man. I even sent him a message there and read that, Dr. Okero, can you explain to me why we don't have yellow books in our clinic? Because me, I don't have time to waste. I have a lot of things to do. And I know, you all know, at cases at least it is cheaper compared to those for the world. <laughs> it is a bit cheaper. After all, it is government. It's government subsidized of everything. So I want our travelers to be helped so that they can do their business as well and also help us and as we help them eradicate young people from our country. To, to the travelers, this is very simple. This is your lives. And please avoid shortcuts. Take always the wrong route to heaven. You know shortcuts are never, never unsustainable. <laughs> so if you want it, you know shortcuts. If you want to, be, to become rich quickly, you know what you can do. You can steal a bank, then a bread deals with you. As you go to heaven, You'll find the quarter guard where the other angel, which quarter book can get us very well. <laughs> because he is not ready for you. And you will just communicate to the creator that this one has come, I've left you. <laughs> and his days are not yet. So you, the, the creator will ask him to go and investigate. <laughs> You'll find that you were a thief. And your destiny have this to be a Hey. So shortcuts are never proper routes to heaven. So please adhere. I salute you all and wish you a fruitful engagement. And I thank you for having invited me to be part of this. But like I said, please, you adhere with me. Please bear with me. Please, please, please. Now I'm holding so many portfolios, I might not be here to, to be part and to share with the next year proceedings. But I know when I'm watching you, I've already made an appointment. Either tomorrow, look for me, Munanga, I'm the police.
Donc, combien de prix qui pourront parler sur la vidéo And also, shall not actually ask me to help. So that you can ask me where you feel like you want me to help. I get there this engagement, okay? Now that you have the chief guest, you will close. Because me, I have a negative, again, propensity when it comes to closing things. I hate closing things. May God bless you all for God and mine.